Hi, welcome back. Alex Yum, Hair Salon Academy, the place that you can find any information you need to know for hair salon, barbers, apprenticeships, anything. Anything you need to know about skills, marketing, everything, right? So we're gonna cover everything you need to know. By the way, um, a common thing, a common thought that it is around people is that these high street barbers and then compared to the normal street barber, uh, how's, how is the different, what is the different, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, first of all, high street barber and then normal street barber, I don't know what is the opposite of high street, low street, should be, I don't know. Um, he's removed that thought from your mind because it will doesn't doesn't really exist anymore the reason i'm saying that because with online all the game is changed even if you're far from the city center you will find the barber that is better with, any, with anyone else thanks to the online if the guy that is doing the right thing online is reachable to other people that is in target you have no this issue the difference between the high street and then the no the, the low street i will say is the the people of course, if you're in the high street, it's most likely there is people walking past your hair salon and my hairdresser or then your hair salon or your barbershop and then the people say, oh fuck, it's a good barbershop or it's a good hair salon, I'll get in. Which is in a low street, maybe they don't find you, the people will know, walk past, uh, so it's hard to find for people. Now, again, depends the target. So, doesn't mean that a person, doesn't mean that if you're a barbershop next to Louis Vuitton, the people that go to your barbershop is people that buy from Louis Vuitton. Because maybe the guy that buy from Louis Vuitton is being targeted really well from the guy from Low Street Barbershop. And then the guy from Louis Vuitton says, I don't want to go to that barbershop. I will go to the guy in Low Street because I know he's the best barber in town. And he charge more than the barbershop that it is next to Louis Vuitton. So, it's different. It's different. Now, the chance that, that, is a bar, that is a person that gets in your barbershop if you're close to Louis Vuitton is maybe higher because it is more people that walk past by that. But again, the, the, the focus of the people is really changed and it's changed as well that the people that process information through the streets. If I see a barbershop text to Louis Vuitton and then it's empty, the people most likely will not get in, even if it's a good, good looking barber. Maybe he says, I'm gonna give it a try, he's gonna give it a try. He says, oh, it's a high expectation, they get a barber, they get a haircut, they, they average haircut, and then they charge, get, they'll charge a lot of money and say, fuck, I go back to my old barber because he's better. So it's changed, everything is changed. It's not because you're in the high street, you get paid more. It's not because you're in the high street, you, you have better clients. It's not that, it's everything is changed. It's slightly different. And so, and for my experience as well, for what I see in a lot of barbers that are in high, high street that are kind of empty some multiple times and people that are in the low street, they are more full than them. And they have less, they have less expenses to pay, right? So, me personally, I will never open a barbershop in, in the high street. Uh, the reason why I have most of the time I will not have control of the target of people that join in my barbershop uh, or hair salon, uh, and the cost is ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. It's so expensive because next to you it is Louis Vuitton, it is Gucci, it is all this kind of brand. It is Harmony Coles if you're in England, uh, Suffrages, and blah 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 blah. And it costs so much money than just a multinational company could rent that place. And you will be overwhelmed of expenses to pay, and you will be overwhelmed of everything that you need to pay to stay there just for the for the ego to say I'm next to Louis Vuitton when you don't make any money because it's too expensive to run a barbershop that big in that place. So I will never do that. I will open a place in the low street where it is a kind of cool place Then it has to be, you know, it's kind of cool place, you know, it is enough people around, you know, it is a good community around where it is, you know, it is a few rich people here and there, you know, it is a place where people hang around a lot, but it's not high street, right? and I will open a barbershop there, and then if I get that big, maybe I will think to open there, even though I will do just for a brand awareness, I will not even do for money, because there you don't make any money. It's impossible for a barbershop to make money in the high street, because it's too expensive to run. And then if you make money, the headache that you have is so big that I will not do it, right? Okay, so low street for me is better, 
if you want to talk of low street or medium street and high street, okay, low street and medium street will be better than high street. And so that's the difference. So high street is, okay, you have a ego, you're next to Louis Vuitton. Low street is the guy that he goes there, turns the job, does his work, he works five, six days a week. Uh, he's open seven days, um, he's open seven days, he works all the time, blah, 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 blah. He makes a lot of money because he has a lot of profit because he has no much rent to pay. And then he can hire more people, more people will make more money so his company grows. And the guy that he works in high street, he needs to work by himself because he can't, he doesn't have enough to know where to get another barber and then he get in his, inside his salon because of course he's too expensive to run with another barber. And then he's not enough busy because there's not many people joining this barbershop because he's expect, the expectation of that barbershop is too high but he can't give it back to him and then that's what happened, the people fail and then blah, 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 and then the, the barbershop is, uh, is fucked up, right? So that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I would never open it. It is somebody that they did it. Most of the time, what you see a barbershop uh, that is in High Street are, are hair salon or barbers that are there from a really long time, where that place used to be like the new High Street and they got the wave in the right time and they opened a barbershop in the High Street and it wasn't High Street yet, it became that. And then they were already there. But a lot of barbers, the clever ones, then they go to the point where they say, fuck it, I'm gonna close this shop, I'll open somewhere else, then it's better because it costs me less and the people will move to me anyway because I have online place, then people will come to me anyway because I mean, it's not that big place, so I can, people can move from the city center. Actually, the city center is bad because you can market yourself, so the city center is bad because it's too busy, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to say anything, but that's what it is. Uh, so um, so that's, that's all. So high street compared to low street, low street all the time. High street is just for ego or for your brand. And then the, most of the time you can afford it to run a barbershop in a place like that, okay? And the margin will be so low and then you're making the money and then blah, blah, blah the life is terrible. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. If you need a consultation, you can watch, uh, you can look the info below. You know, if you need a one to one because you are suddenly struggling, blah, 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 we can discuss about that. If you are a barber, then you want to learn to be a barber, I can teach you that too because I'm a barber first before anything else. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.